Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Slack account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you use the Slack huddle feature? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to use the Slack huddle anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that you have to collaborate with various assistants, coworkers, sometimes clients, and rather than texting, Slack has a huddle feature. So you can join in with a video call, an audio call, and a group call. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's actually handled in your Slack account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave more information there, but I've already logged into my Slack account and this is the home screen. Now, in order to use the huddle feature, first, what you're going to do is here on the left, you're going to see the channel section, make sure that it opened up and you can see all the different channels you're going to be working in. Now, in order to set up a huddle, what you're going to do is choose the channel that you're going to use the huddle in. So for me, I'll use this one called Chinese food. So once you click on the channel, you're going to see the conversation for that particular channel. And up here on the top right, you're going to see this kind of like headphone looking thing. I had to move myself out. So, okay, here it is the headphone. So in order to start a huddle, what you're going to do is just click on these headphones. You can also click on the little arrow next to it. It's going to give you a drop down. But usually what I'll do is just click on the headphone. Okay, right away, you can see that this little green pop-up happens down here that I joined a huddle. So whoever's in this channel, they can hear everything that I'm saying. So you might be wondering if they can see the video as well. So you can actually control all of those features. First off, down here, if you want to mute yourself, you can click there. And then that way, anything that you're saying, anybody in the channel, they can't hear in the huddle. So maybe you're just observing the huddle and you don't really have anything to talk about. Maybe you're listening to a manager. You want to go ahead and mute. Also here, you can go ahead and turn on the video. If you want to share a video, that's really up to you. Here, you can go ahead and share your screen. So maybe if you're the one orchestrating the huddle, you need to share your screen and that we can show the other folks what you're talking about. Here, you can click on these three little dots and you can go ahead and invite other people into the huddle if you wish to do so. Also, another way you can invite people into the huddle is right here. There's a little icon. It looks like a person with a plus. Just click on there. And here you can go ahead and invite your coworkers. Let me close this down. Another way you can invite people into your Slack huddle is up here on the top right on the audio phone. You can see it's green. Click on the little arrow next to it and you can copy the huddle link. Once that happens, you can go ahead and text or email or however you want to share that huddle link. That way, whoever clicks on it, they can go ahead and request to be added into the huddle in your Slack account. Okay, so once again, if you click on these three little dots down here, you can go ahead and show captions if you want to do that. Maybe if you just want to see what's going on. So we click right there. Okay, so then it's going to open up this little pop-up and then you'll be able to see the caption as the folks are talking through this huddle. Now, maybe you're tired of being in this huddle or it doesn't really have anything to do with it. You can go ahead and leave the huddle by clicking on this red leave button. Now, I'm the only person that was in that particular huddle. So it automatically shut down the huddle because there's nobody else in it except for me. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to use the Slack huddle, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.